No, I'd never, um, I'd never been to India before I made the film. I'd always wanted to go there because I'd been really interested. And then Simon Balfoy sent the script. It was about who wants to be a millionaire, which I didn't really want to make a film about that because I had that kind of reaction where you think, well, that's on television every week. Why would you go to the cinema and watch it? And, but it was extraordinary the way that they used the show to tell the story. And it's just a help in a way to tell the story of this boy's life up to then. And I was blown away really. And that was also the chance to visit India. So we went on an exploratory trip which is sort of like pre-commitment almost in a way. It's finding out whether you can actually feasibly do it. Also, it's finding out, which you do very quickly, is whether it's honest. A director is a controller. You're a control freak. You bring a crew, you look at a bit of life, you stop it in its tracks, and then you recreate it, positioning your technicians around it to capture it, and you repeat it endlessly until you've got it just how you want it. You can't do that with <laughs> India. It's uncontrollable. It's just constantly motion it's just constant and it's and so you have to go with that and that means that you'll you'll end up spending two-thirds of a day and you'll achieve nothing and the accountants are all going I mean this film's gonna take four years to finish what you know and they're like but then four o'clock in the afternoon it comes back suddenly this wave comes back and the thing is given you and you've got your film or your bit of it for that day something is given back to you Sounds hippie, sounds like a load of nonsense, uh, but actually that's the way it works.